if somebody's done a report or they've created a dashboard, the key final step in uh, in the process <laughs> of telling a story with data could be giving a presentation. So do you have top tips for succeeding at that final stage of data storytelling? Oh, there's there's so many. Uh, uh, I typically teach this as a one day class or a two day class. I, I just taught this yesterday, like literally yesterday I did four hours for a transportation agency. We, uh, if I had to pick one, I would say, are you familiar with the phrase, kill your darlings? It's a literature no. phrase. I, no. I don't know if it's a Mark Twain or a Hemingway. Somebody's gonna, somebody listening knows you all can Google that too. Kill your darlings in literature means, you write your story, maybe you're really invested in your characters, you love this one scene you wrote, but at the end, as part of your editing process, you might have to kill off your main character, or you might have to delete that scene that you personally love. You're letting things go that are personally wonderful to you for the good of the story as a whole. So we have to do that to our reports. We have to do that to our dashboards. We have to do that to our presentations. So what I see a lot of people do is they are brainstorming for their presentation. They're prepping. They open up PowerPoint. They make all their slides. All well, Let me have my intro slide. Let me have the this slide. Let me have all these charts. Let me have the question slide. You know, all the slides. We make all the slides. At the end, you don't even have to delete your slides. You can, you, you zoom out a, on your PowerPoint into slide sorter mode. It's where you see the little previews. You see all the little thumbnail size previews of all your slides. You can right click on the slides that aren't central and you just hide them. You just tuck mm -hmm. them away. Mm -hmm. So you might've brainstormed. The number of slides doesn't really matter. I think in general, we need more slides with less on them rather than fewer crammed slides. Let's just say you have 20 slides for a nice even number. Mm -hmm. You might hide five of them, you know, and maybe you're left with the 15 core slides. You don't have to delete it because you might need that slide for a future presentation. I wouldn't want somebody mm -hmm. to spend an hour making it and then, oh, well, Anne Emery said delete it. Now she wasted an hour of my time. No, <laughs> no, just hide it. You can use it in the future. Or if somebody asks a question, you look so prepared because you can just right. click on that slide, the just in case slide, and their answer mm -hmm. appears in that beautiful well-formatted graph that's decluttered, that has the dark colors, that has mm -hmm. the storytelling title, and you look like the most prepared person on the planet as well. So everybody wins. You win as the presenter. The audience wins because they're mostly just getting their the core information and not the little extra stuff as you go as well. Nice. I love it. So kill your darlings, hide those slides that might be personally dear but aren't critical to the story that you're telling to this particular audience. That makes a lot of sense to me. You also alluded to another great tip there, which is that we might want to have more slides with less information on them. And something else that we talked about before we started recording was this idea of not just having text, not just having the bullets that you're planning on reading. That's my, that's my big presentation tip. When I, uh, yeah, so a big thing for me is... I might have bullets on a slide that are a few words that express a topic that needs to be covered, but you can't verbatim be reading your slides. That is a nightmare because anybody sitting watching your presentation cannot read and listen to what you're saying at the same time. Because unless, you, unless you're literally reading the slide, but that's also really boring, you're going to be pressing next you're going to be pressing the right cursor yeah. or pressing your clicker or whatever you're going to be revealing this like long sentence which will then automatically cue the viewer to start reading that long sentence while simultaneously you're kind of describing the sentence in right. different but words even if you are i mean that's death by powerpoint if you're reading off your slides even if you are reading a sentence and you said the audience is reading along with you false they're reading faster because we right. read faster than we can speak i think it's like one and a half times fat. Don't quote me on that, but there's stats on oh, yeah. this of how much, how quickly we can read. So, you know, you're reading the first sentence and the audience, they're reading the second, third, fourth sentence and they're bored to tears. And if somebody, if you're saying something, but they're looking at something else and there's that mismatch, 
that's death by PowerPoint. What we say should be exactly what people are looking at. We could have a whole podcast episode on how to not read off your slides, how to reduce text on your slide and increase visuals. The easiest thing would probably be take the text and just do a cut and paste and just put it below the slide in the speaking notes section. Right. Right. And that's all your just in case info. That's like in mm. case you're in case you're a new presenter or you're presenting on a new topic, maybe you're new mm. to the job or new to the content area mm -hmm. and you get really worried and you're like wanting to read off the slides, you've got the speaker's notes. But the audience mm -hmm. sees just the couple keywords, the large legible graph or diagram or map. And then what they're looking at is what you're saying. You've got that nice cohesion. You've got them engaged in the topic. Yep. Yep. You're preaching to the choir. That is... Of all the things you said today, that is the one thing that I do do well. <laughs> Podcast think. title is like, just delete everything. <laughs> <laughs> just delete. use less. Just delete use less. all your data, all your text, <laughs> but leave the visualizations as long as yeah. those visualizations have just one. Just the key points. Spaghetti line mm -hmm. and an annotation.